Well, what can I say? Uh, extraordinary, amazing, phenomenal film. And I just Thank have you. to ask both of you, how daunting was it to go into this film knowing who you're playing and you want to do it justice? Yeah, well, I have a, I like have a hunger for challenges. I like being challenged and I like and I'm very passionate about like the first of all the civil rights movement is something that re I relate to and I'm passionate about the fight. So being able to play James Bevel for me was like a uh, work of love, meaning I just I just wanted to know everything about them and know everything about the movement. So it was it was more fun, and you know it was challenging, but it was fun challenge. So I'm I'm grateful and just like I, I mean I could do this all day. I want to be a <laughs> part of this all the time, you know. We love that, but don't stop your music. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No. Um, Coretta, wow. I mean, yeah. where do you even start? Well, I I think what Ava did quite brilliantly with this project was deconstruct the mythology and the iconography. So as a result, you inevitably didn't feel quite as swamped by the, the responsibility and the weight of telling what really is the first Martin Luther King story on screen, which is quite amazing that we haven't had one to this point. Yeah. But it was never intended to be a really a full-on biopic. Right. Definitely not a cradle to grave story. You know, we're not trying to sort of capture the full epic life of Martin Luther King, what we're really trying to do with this film is get a better understanding of the man and of the movement um, by focusing on a very particular moment in time. And I think because she's so good at dealing with specificity and detail and intimacy, that again, you know, it just, it took the weight of of trying to tell the big story, the big biopic. You yeah, know? and you know, I was looking at it, watching it, <coughs> thinking, wow, you know, of course he was such an amazing man and an amazing leader, but boy, he had a great team around him. Yeah. And, you know, in this ensemble, great actors. I mean, it very much about teamwork. Team. I think that's so important. Yeah, I, th I think that was a very, very important part about the struggle that we did, that I didn't know, that I don't think a lot of people knew was that Dr. King had a team that really, that he extracted all these great qualities from, and he was the voice and, and you know, like, like the face of that movement, but it was so many people that contributed and everybody had their special gifts and qualities and were leaders themselves, women and men. And there was some people that we don't even know their names that just contributed to, to the movement. And, you know, so it, it's good to see and, and to see those people being acknowledged and um, and us to get an understanding that Dr. King was, you know, part of a team. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good for us as a contemporary audience and generation of people that might feel the desire to, to rise and, and stand up for something to know that it is a team effort and it's not yeah. just necessarily one great untouchable leader that, that we all follow, we all wait like sheep for them to sort of guide us to where we're going. We all have to participate and uh, yeah, that's the, that for me is the great gift of Selma. Yeah, um, I mean although you all are extraordinary in this film and I'm not just saying it, I mean, really yeah. honestly mean this, but David, whoa, um, hmm. where did he pull that out of? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as he said, he was he feels that he was born to play, like this is something he lived his whole life to, you know, to play this role. He actually told Dr. King's daughter that she asked him, we were at, we were at, the, um, at the King Center and Dr. King's daughter asked him, um, like, you know, why do you think you could play my father? He's like, I lived my whole life to play this role. And that, that it hit me when he said that and I was like, Man, this is gonna be incredible. I was just like, yo, this <laughs> that was is, at the beginning. Yeah, that was yeah. at the beginning. I was like, yo. So, so, I mean, he definitely, you know, his heart and soul is was in it. It wasn't like, yo, know, you know, sometimes in a film you could feel somebody. Like, I'm going to get the Oscar, and I'm going to, you know, they put you don't you feel that he wants to do justice by Dr. Martin Luther King and what. King and all those people represented, and that's what you feel coming through. And I feel the same thing with Ava and her direction. It's like a purity in it that when you watch the film, you feel the emotion because it's pure. It's not like trying to manipulate you yeah. to be this like, oh, I'm about to, we gonna win the Oscar with this. Yeah. You know, like it doesn't feel like that to me. And I feel like as a group of filmmakers in every department, hair, makeup, wardrobe, DP, 
these were all black people, which yeah. I've never had that experience before. And I, I think we all felt more of a responsibility to each other yeah. to get this right and to do this the right way. Because all the accolades are fantastic and they help put bums on seats. And that's ultimately what makes a film like this get made again, yeah. is if there's box office. But we really don't get to tell our own stories very often. And so I think as a responsibility to each other, to come to the set with purity of heart and truth yeah. is what we intended and what we achieved and is what you see on screen, and which is why people are being moved by this movie. Well, I was sure. gonna say, how hard is it to make a film like this and not be emotional, not go through scenes and, and, and get through them and not burst into tears and not think about this history and, and how relevant, unfortunately, it still is today. Well, I mean, it, to me as an actor, you, if, you burst into tears. That's okay. Like you, I mean, whatever like feeling comes up, you you're going to like when you're sitting on that, when you're in that set and you're in the scene and you see a police officer kicking somebody or whatever, you feel it because you know it's just you seeing a human being being kicked. But I think it's that's what we want. We want to bring that truth across. So when people do see it, they get the feeling of what those people experienced during that time. And now, as you said, that time is now. Like. Selma is now, right now, and um, you know now is the time that we got to work to change things. And Selma is just providing us another um, source of information and experience to inspire us for that change. So, I mean, we we are honored to be a part of this film. Yeah, was it tough for you sometimes? I think you have to stay in character. That's what your job is on set, and you have to find the way through the emotion, and not be too personally. Um, engaged when something might move you that's happening in front of you but 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 having said that I think this story feels so personal to all of us for various reasons that you're bound to bring a little bit of yourself to the set every day um, and even if it's not until the take is finished that you start you know you maybe shed a tear that definitely happened to, to a lot of us um, but uh, but yeah, we tried to stay focused on camera. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was like it was some really monumental and not in the best way things that happened while we were filming. Like Dr. Myangelo died, and it was the first day that Oprah was shooting. And mm -hmm. Dr. Angelo is a, a really you know a mentor of Oprah and a friend of mine. And it was like so some of that that emotional ride we was there together going through. And Ava would make mm -hmm. sure that we we pay homage. Ruby deep past while we were doing it. Mm -hmm. So it was like certain things that was emotionally put out there that was like feeling like, man, these the ancestors is with us. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that might sound a little weird oh. to some people, but that's, that's, that's how I felt. Well, you guys did an extraordinary, extraordinary job in this. And your song at the end, oh, you know, really, I thought it was bawling enough at the film. Really, <laughs> you just set me back with that song. So fantastic. Congratulations to both of you.